Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in for another Ghost Recon Wildlands video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some new content that just came to the store today. Um, it is kind of a World War II theme, so we got some vehicle mods, some, uh, some customization features, some patches, and also some weapons. So we're going to jump right into this. So if you guys go to the homepage of the store and go to featured content, um, we do have the Luger um, handgun here. It's basically a war trophy from the famous Kingpin um, veteran Bren. And these are weapons that you can only get out of the in-game store. These are not actually in the open world in the game. Um, so there are going to be DLC weapons that you can only obtain out of um, the store. Which I'm not sure how you feel about that, but and then you have a couple face paints here, and then you have the World War One General Steel Pot helmet, which it looks pretty cool there, and then a World War Two tank patch, and then you also get a bonus camo for your weapons. It kind of has like sort of like a jungle desert theme going on there. I don't even know what you'd call that, but uh, that is what is showing it right there on my AUG assault rifle. But uh, you know, new new DLC. You know, then you have an entire list of patches here. I'm going to try to scroll through these kind of quickly, but if you guys want to pause the video at any time to check these patches out, um, you can. But uh, overall, the patches, you know, they're they're kind of cool. Um, I just like the fact that they are giving you more stuff to kind of customize your character. I mean, it is a very small patch that's on the backpack, and uh, this patch also would go on your hat. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's extra, extra things, but you do have to purchase them with in-game currency. This entire pack of patches that you can put on your character is 480 in-game currency, which comes out to be roughly, I don't know, it's a couple, it's only a couple bucks. So if you guys want to get some new patches and stuff like that, you just drop a couple bucks and buy these with the in-game currency. And uh, next we have the vehicle mods. So this is the military plane. And what's really cool about this is it specifies down there that this vehicle will be delivered in the Connie Bravo Libertad Bravo and then Montayoke Bravo. So when you spawn into those base camps, like where the fast travel points are, this plane will be there. So you'll be able to access the plane right away. Um, and this is the military 4x4, kind of looks like a Humvee. And this will be delivered to the Flor de Oro Alpha, Media Luna Bravo, and then Monte Puncho Bravo. So if you spawn into any of those locations, it will pop up right there. You can hop in it and on your way you can go. And last, we have the military truck. Um, and this, it's just a big tanky looking truck. You know, you can actually haul a lot of people in it. But you only going to put four people in it because that's as many people as you can play with. And it'll be delivered to the Caymanas Bravo, Florida de Oro Bravo, and then the Taqua Charlie. So this vehicle will be at all of those spawn points if you need to go to those. So that's pretty cool. I hope they do expand it to some other vehicles. But uh, that is pretty much all for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it and you guys are excited about the new content, let me know down in the comments and drop a like on the video. Also, if you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more awesome Ghost Recon Wildlands content. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.